Check them palm trees Check the bay area over here Check the little boat Check the inlet right over here, huh? The Baker's Hall over inlet And check our beautiful sunrise over here, huh? Everything in order You know, I tell you all what since we are doing this 2023 Species Marathon I kind of thought, you know, the whole objective of it is to rack up the different species, right? To make account for this year So why not use this opportunity while we are paying a little homage to Florida To shoot a tutorial video, huh? Like a live listing 101 type of video for you all now the problem with life listing of course is that well it is something that is extremely hard to teach to people out there because simply you know there are a lot of different species of fish out there which means different ways of targeting them which means a lot of different species i mean sorry a lot of different techniques that life listers use so I kind of came to the conclusion that the best way of shooting a good tutorial video is to pretty much just film myself fishing out here and uh, show, show you folks my every step throughout the day while giving you all some hints and tips on what exactly am I doing, what I'm using, what I am targeting so that I can maximize the amount of species right for a day so today is January 20th it is currently 7 29 a.m. sunrise you know is right there the park has just opened for 10 hours today sunrise to sunset I am going to be out here chasing a species how many different species of fish do you folks think that I will be able to land in those 10 hours with minor breaks for food and restroom and hydration of course comment below and let me know okay also another thing too I hope you don't get offended by it okay because of the nature of this video and because of the sheer amount of species different species that are going to show up in this video right i'm going to be giving to you all every single species that we catch today i will have to divide this episode into two so this is part one and part two is going to drop in the next video on the youtube channel please do not be offended by this okay unbeknownst to a lot of people it takes me 8 to 10 hours to edit a YouTube video that is about 20 minutes long even longer if the video is 25 minutes or so okay so I have very limited time with my busy schedule when I'm back home right to to do the editing plus give EPF's computers processor <laughs> A little break too right so we're going to divide it into okay all right that being said no time to waste our official sunrise to sunset one day life listing species challenge I know that's a long ass title has just started let's get on it all right right here boom juicy deep hole right here have to hit the right angle to get in there though you know what I'm saying Oh yeah, got a hit already. Something's on the shrimp. I got him. I got him. Oh, I'm snagging on fishing line. But the fish is on. But the fish is on. I got him. Our first fish of the day and first species is actually a dusky denzel fish. Stegastis adustus. Okay. For the first few hours today, this is the game that we're going to run here. I'm going to be punching some rocks, okay, to maximize the number of species that we can catch. Let me tell you, the rifts down here in Florida, they are real rich, as you all saw in the previous episode on the YouTube channel. Little tungsten 
drop shot rig right here, teardrop, one size 18 hook or a dropper loop rig. All you need to do is find the cracks amongst the rocks. Sometimes you can throw your stuff right on top of the rocks, right? And the fish will come and they swarm your bait. Get in there, bro. That's right. Woo, boy. I'm in the hole now. I'm in the hole now. Telling me a dusky denzel was everything that was in there. Come on, man. Who are you trying to fool? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, boy. Get out of the hole now. Get out of the hole. Come down here. What we got here? Our second species is... Dude. It's a very beautiful French... Wait, is this... Whoa, easy. Is this just a French grunt? Yeah, I think it is just a pretty dark French grunt, but we got ourselves here the High Moulin Flavo Lineatum, right? Hey, going directly, look at that, little size 18 hook, top of the mouth, easy now buddy, give me my hook back, gotta do the hook outside of YouTube, cause you know, community guidelines, get in the bucket, easy now, that's right, get in there boy, get in there. When you find a good hole, it stick with a good hole. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh boy, yes sir, sir, yes sir. Sir, yes sir! Yes, this is one of the ones that uh, I've caught the other day in that video already, but I highly wanted to add it for today. We got ourselves here the high hat, the Pareques Acuminatus. And this one actually makes it three species already, okay? Three species for this morning. Our first three to start the day. Not bad, not bad. Considering that it is only 7.54 a.m. Three species so far for today, okay? Let's release them all. I don't want to keep too many species inside the bucket, okay? Dusky Denzel fish, one going back. I actually caught two of them. There you go, there's another one. Then we got here the very weird French grunt. This one has some weird colors on it. Maybe a hybrid with a Caesar. I'm not sure, but definitely not a caesar though here go back where you belong and finally oh this is so beautiful we got here the high hat yeah which is a type of little drum beautiful the rocks are on fire keep putting that shrimp on keep punching them rocks easy now buddy easy oh is that a blue head dude there's a blue head swimming around here can't just swim around here come on sergeant major take it we're trying to get some of the easier ones out of the way obviously number four right the bluegill of the sea we got ourselves here the sergeant major aka the abu def doof Saxatilis, which is actually a cousin okay very similar looking right to the dusky Denzel fish so there you have it number four in the bucket where did that blue head go oh right here right here right here come on blue head what's that little chub little chub oh i had it i had a little chub what is this well whatever it is it's species number five of the day so that ain't all bad of course it is a little tom tate grunt I'm not a member of the High Moulin genus. Look at that, huh? Black dot at the tail, dead giveaway. High Moulin Auro Lineatum. Go there with the Sergeant Major. I'm trying to get a blue head. I see a blue head down there. Oh, of course. <laughs> of course, it missed the bucket, man. There it goes. Oh, my lord. Yep. Oh, yeah beautiful we got our first parrot fish of the day check that out in the mouth these are actually not that easy to be caught down here at all so i'm really stoked that one of these actually showed up 
this is a, a striped parrot fish in its initial phase anyone who knows about parrot fishes well you should know they have initial phases terminal phases right so at a certain stages of their lives they actually change colors i'm not even making this up let me take the hook out here for this fella real quick i don't want to damage its beak <clears throat> there we go put it in the bucket and then we got another three right over here this is striped parrot fish by the way it was a lifer for me just two days ago before this florida trip i had never caught one of those before i kind of saw them down there fitting together with the other reef fish and it took me a little while to realize you know like the technique for it that you actually have to float your bait for the parrot fish to come up and get it this parrot fish they are very finicky some of them like to eat on the bottom some of them like to eat floating some of them hit only on vegetation like that sargassum video that i shoot a while ago right so you have to figure out the different species and how they like to feed so that you can target them all right that being said let's release these little fellas right over here okay sergeant major nothing much to say about it the bluegill of the sea they're just everywhere and they're such a nuisance a species when it comes to catching all the other different reef species right we got a little tom tate grunt over here that oh, truth be told i should really use it as cut bait so this little fella right now uh i'm not really throwing it back i'm gonna keep it in the bucket and check it out the beauty huh of this striped parrot fish in its initial phase look at the blue on its eye right olive green right over here now that my friends is beautiful huh down he goes fun fact of the day i don't know if you guys knew about this or not but the sparrow fish they actually feed primarily on coral and when they poop bloop, it creates sand so <laughs> not even making this up true story there we go oh come on bro that was my sargasso man yeah all right that sargasso is gone bro son Let's see if that chub wants to cut bait all right down to the rocks we are again there's a stoplight parrot fish There is a chub. There's a lot of Tom Tate. Oh, look at that. I, that was, dude, that was my sargassum, bro. Let me see if I can find another piece. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Come here, baby. Come here. Come here, sargassum. There's a pair of fish down there eating the sargassum. You know we're going to bite some of this good sargassum right here and try to catch it bro i'm not being shy at all got a piece of sargassum right here man let's see if that uh see if that pair of fish is gonna come up to get it file fish is looking at it now that i switched to this you come dude come on bro can't make that up Oh, there we go. Sargassum. Oh, easy, 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 easy. Sargassum parrot fish, my dude. Sargassum parrot fish. Yeah, boy. That's another species for today. On the sargassum. People don't believe me when I say it, man. Look, look. Don't need to go to the bait shop, dude. Look, look. You, you know where I got this from? You know where I got this from? Right there. Right there. Look at that, huh? on the sargassum boy go watch that youtube video if you haven't watched yet all righty this fella over here i don't really want to keep it inside the bucket for too long because parrot fish is a very sensitive species of fish right so i'm doing triples over here but i don't want this fella to die on me not to mention that in florida reef species are actually protected right as you folks should be aware of so i don't want to keep this dude inside my bucket anyway someone shows up thinks i'm taking them home or something 
red tail parrotfish, I believe, okay, in its initial stage, is Parisoma chrysopterum on the Sargasso, son. That is what's up. That was fish number seven for today. And I tell you all what, we are just getting started. Come on, man. Plain head file fish. Plain head file fish. That's a good one, actually. If we can catch one. If the sergeant major doesn't get to it first, where are it? Oh, yeah, dude. Where's the plain head? Oh, yeah, right there, right there, right there. I see, I see, I see. Oh, plain head is on it. Plain head is hungry and is on it. Got him. Plain head file fish coming up. Son, sir, yes, sir. Look at that, huh? Yay! Now that is what's up. Our first file fish a species of the day. Hey, tiny one, but life listing ain't about sizes, you feel me? Life listing is all about side fishing. Well, not always, but targeting the species that you want, right? And getting them for the list. Number eight for today. Boom. All right, come here, Stefano Lepis. Hispidus. This is another protected species of fish down here in Florida. Yeah. Look, you see that right there? File fish and trigger fish. They always got the stuff here on top, right? I don't want to keep it inside the bucket because, you know, protected, right? Species number eight for today. Boom. Bro, big scraw file fish. You see that? But that one only wants the big shrimp. And I need to do that. That one's pretty big. I mean, we would need the bigger rod. We would need the bigger rod to catch that one. There's a big ass puffer fish over here too. Hey, got a hit at the hole. There we go. Oh yes. Ah, this is a real good one. Let me tell you all something. Oh, I'm very happy to see this one come up. Oh yes, we call these right here. Uh, and by the way, this is highly sawed in the aquarium trade we call this right here the flame fish right scientific name is apogon oh look at that let, let me tell you let me tell you oh let me show you here real quick look at this look at this it's one of the most beautiful fishes that you are going to find down here see that now i'm very very happy about this one you should know that this is one of my favorite species of fish from all the different lifers that I've caught in my life down here in Florida, right? As a matter of fact, I like this species so much that I made a sticker out of it, as you folks know, right? The Apogon Maculatus. Oh man, you usually see this one in people's fish tanks. Yeah, I think they are actually not that cheap when it comes to the aquarium trade either. Look at the colors on this dude. Every time I set the hook and I see something a little bit red showed up from the depths of the rifts. Oh, it fell in my book bag. Easy now, but easy. You want to eat some uh, you want to eat some banana, huh? That's not for you, buddy. That's not for you. All right, let me move there. Let the gentleman go over there. I think he's snagged or something. Oh, yeah, look at that, dude. That is what's up. Oh, yeah. Well, we are almost approaching double digits, huh? And it is only like what? 9.02 a.m.? That's what I'm talking about. Oh, got a hit, got a hit, got a hit. He's on the fish bites, dude. He's on the fish bites. I got him. I got him. Easy. Don't go into the hole. Don't go into the hole. Is it just a sergeant major? Please, don't tell me it's just a sergeant major. What we got here? Boom. Oh, man. There's another one of those mysterious, to say the least, parrotfish. I don't know what is what in the world of parrotfish right now, man. I think this is the same species that we caught the previous two. So I'm not even going to take photos of it, okay? Dude, this parrotfish, they are mysterious to say the least. Initial phase, terminal phase, you know? I'm just trying to get into double digits. Come on. Oh, got a hit. Oh, got a hit on the fish bites. No, 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 don't go into the rock. 
I have to lift my rod. I'm sorry. The angle for film is not that good. Dude, 10 species on the fish bites. 10 species on the fish bites. Look at that, huh? Look at that. Y'all see that right here? Yellowtail snapper. Osiurus crisurus. Now that is what's up, huh? That is what's up. We're officially in double digits for today. And by that, I don't mean no 10 pounder or 50 pounder, right? We are in double digits for a species, son. That's right. That was actually a very yummy one right there. Have to be 18 inches for you to keep minimum, right? Don't come down here to Florida and get down to poaching, okay? That is not good. Here, man. Here, man. I'm going to leave the numbers over here as always for you all. I think this is a great time for me to take a little break and eat my lucky food right over here. That's right, homies. Come on, man. You want to catch the species out here? This is the, the main tip of this YouTube video, okay? You got to make sure that you have your lucky food with you, bro. When you carry one of these with you over there, Let me tell you all something, you're going to catch a lot of fish, all right? <laughs> all jokes aside, all jokes aside, if you watch this YouTube video, I think it is pretty evident that, you know, for you to catch a, a big number of different species of fish, you have to use different fishing techniques and you have to really be prepared before you come on these fishing trips, right? fishing doesn't necessarily start when you wet your line on the in the water it starts when you're back at home preparing we call that the stage of anticipation right you read all the books you learn about the fish you learn about the behavior you learn about what they like to eat different species they behave differently they like different types of food anticipate right so that you come out here, you wear your lines, and then you are in the second stage of expectation. And your expectation, of course, is that the fish is going to bite your hook, right? Needless to say, if your plan works and you hook the fish and you land the fish, you get to the third stage, which is the stage of gratification. Anticipation, expectation, gratification. And guess what? Once you actually do land that fish, right? It's cyclic. You will want to do it again, which is what makes fishing so addictive. For Florida, 10 species of fish, I gotta tell you, it is really not a lot. Not a lot at all. The next video on the YouTube channel, you know, when we continue the count, oh, that is going to be the real challenge because we already got the easy ones out of the way, right? We will need to branch out. We will need to use different techniques to catch the ones that we haven't caught today yet. Check this out. 10 a.m., 10, 11 a.m., just to say that I'm not cheating when it comes to this challenge, okay? Check this out also. Follow me. Tide is still going from high to low. You all can see the current over here, right? Once this tide actually shifts later today and starts going this way, this area over here is going to be, <laughs> my banana point, this area over here is going to be very, very productive and we are going to even cast a sabiki or something over there, along there. But I think that this is it for this video, all right? I'll be back in a few days here on the YouTube channel. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. Tie lines. And take it easy. Check it out. Check it out. The new desktop setup right over here. A lot of people were asking me, like, Leo, why you stopped uploading videos around beginning of February, right? I, I kept telling people, man, the old computer, which is down there, by the way, wasn't really able to handle the editing in 4K quality. 
So I had to go out of my way to get a custom made PC, right? You folks can see it is actually a pretty cool one right over here to be able to handle the editing in 4K quality. That's a GeForce RTX 4090. That's a motherboard right there, right? Intel i13, so this is generation 13 gaming style computer. So yes, I do apologize, you know, that I haven't uploaded, you know, in about a month or so. I really wanted to, but the old PC, man, that one down there, you know, it was giving me results like that were all glitched. The, it, it wasn't able to handle the, the rendering, the compiling, and even after 12 to 18 hours of editing, the final product would be all glitched. So now that I got this baby over here, right, when I ordered this thing custom made, by the way, it was supposed to have arrived here, you know, like mid-February. They originally told me, you know, three weeks, right? But a lot of things were back order, so it took like six weeks for this thing to arrive. It just arrived earlier this week. I got to the editing promptly, and this video that you folks watch today, it was edited on the new desktop, so there will be a lot more videos, okay? Coming up on the YouTube channel, now that we have the new setup.